The problem is you think that there's not another man that can give you what he gives you, which is, I, I don't know what you think he's giving you, but he's giving you nothing for now. Because if you're obsessed over him and he's ignoring you, he's giving you nothing. Okay, so why do you think that he's going to be your Prince Charming? Hello my beautiful darlings, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day today. And today we're going to talk about detachment, how to be detached, how to be unbothered. Sometimes you give too much love and you're too attached and sometimes you can even get obsessed about someone that doesn't reciprocate. Because when you are attached too much to someone or to a situation, that thing control you. You will feel bad. If this person texts you, you will feel good. Like they completely control you and your emotions and you don't want that. You feel powerless of your own emotions and I think that femininity and feminine energy is also being able to be confident. I think it's a thing like when men say they love when a woman is a little bit more independent, it has nothing to do with her job actually. It has to do with the fact that she is independent emotionally. Like she's able to not be obsessed, needy and just having a little bit of a, okay, I'm a little bit detached here so that people don't control your emotions as much. If they try to get you angry, if they try to manipulate you, if they try to make you feel sad, to make you feel not confident, to take away your confidence, you have some men doing that. They try to take away your confidence. And I want this video to be all about how to really detach and not care. So if you want to know more, keep on watching. But first, just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content, I talk about fashion, femininity, old Hollywood glamour, seduction, dating, and anything to make you become a highly feminine lady and to upgrade your confidence. Feel free to join the channel, the link is down below, and also follow me on my Instagram. Oh yes, I love this dress, it's so cute, oh my god. So it's true, feminine energy is more emotional. As women, we also need to put sometimes our emotion aside and master detachment and not let our emotions completely overwhelm and control us. This is such an important thing to be able to be a woman that is composed, that is in control of her emotions, that is emotionally intelligent, that is such a good quality and men love that quality as well. This is a quality that the femme fatale has. This is a quality of a high value woman. When you have a situation that you are really obsessed, you're obsessed with somebody, you're obsessed with a situation, most of the time you want to control it right? You want to control that situation. If you have a person that you really like, you want that person to like you back. That's the thing. You want to have the control. And this is the thing that you have to understand, ladies, is that you cannot control people. You cannot control anybody. You can only control your own reaction and yourself. And this is actually quite liberating to really embrace that because people, what they do is completely out of your control. You cannot force him to like you. You cannot force him to court you, to give you princess treatment, to treat you like a queen, to ask you for marriage. You cannot force him to do all of that. He has to want to do all of that. You have to take away the control. And in that way, you are more in your feminine energy. When you are in the control, you want to control everything and you obsess over something, you are more in your masculine energy. Letting go of the control and be more detached, actually detachment is really the feminine energy and specifically the darker feminine energy. The light is more free spirit, it's like the bubbly positive energy, the loving energy and the dark is more of the detachment, more of the I'm confident and I know who I am. So in that way with that energy you don't need to obsess over men because he doesn't like you, you will have this detachment and this vibe of that's too bad for him, okay, there's other ones. When you actually have self-love, you know that you will have what you want because when you practice self-love, you know that you're amazing, you know that you have everything to offer and you know that you will get what you want. And if it's not in this situation, it will be in another one because at the end of the day, when you obsess over a man, it's because you want this fantasy that you have in your head, right? You have a fantasy of a lovely relationship that you have in your head, right? But it will never happen if the man 
is not into you. The problem is you think that there's not another man that can give you what he gives you, which is, I, I don't know what you think he's giving you, but he's giving you nothing for now. Because if you're obsessed over him and he's ignoring you, he's giving you nothing. Okay, so why do you think that he's going to be your Prince Charming? Your Prince Charming is not going to ignore you. I promise you, ladies. Every beautiful love story starts with a man that is crazy about the woman. It never starts with a man that is uh, like unsure and you have to convince him. It never starts like that. Never try to convince a man to like you. Never try to show him your value. That's a completely loss of time. He should see it. And if he doesn't see it, that's too bad for him. You think you will never find anyone like him when actually I promise you that there's a lot of men that are even way better than him. You really shouldn't give other people the permission to make you happy or not. I make myself happy just by being. That's the feminine energy. I complete myself. You need your own individuality, your own space, your hobby, your life to feel amazing around you so that you feel complete and you don't need that other person to complete you. Otherwise, you will really become depressed. And sometimes have you noticed that we don't really listen to our intuition. You have to listen to your intuition more and being in line with yourself. When you feel that a man is not treating you right, you have to listen to that little mm, intuition because sometimes we ignore red flags and it's not a good thing. You have to think, is he made for me? Not trying to convince him, I am the good one for you. I am the perfect wife. I am the perfect woman. You have to think, is he the perfect husband for me? Is he the perfect man for me? You have to really step back and observe. This is really the key to everything. That's how you get detachment. Because if you try to control things, you become the man actually. You are courting him. You go into your masculine energy. You have to step back and observe. Observing is the feminine. The feminine energy, she's just observing everybody. She's just there. She's detached. She's unbothered. She's living her best life, okay? She's happy. She's taking care of herself. Your feminine energy, is juicy is happy is when you are in this vibe of just focusing on yourself your body naturally as a woman wants to be in your feminine energy and you just let all of your insecurities and all of your fears control you you have to let go of your fears of appearing a certain way of appearing perfect when you are more in your feminine energy you don't care about all of that because you care about your enjoyment. Being there, having fun, taking care of you, you feel good, you feel pretty, and you observe the man. You observe him. What is he doing? Like, What are his values? You check on the list that you made about the man that you would want. Is he nice? Does he have values? Is he traditional? Is he a provider? You can make a list of the things that you want and in that way you are in the right mindset. I'm observing his behavior and I'm not in the mindset of I need to convince him. Also, when it comes to breakup, I think it's not a failure when you have a relationship that didn't work because it teaches you something. It helps you grow. Obviously, you don't want to have many, many breakups and you want to minimize it as much as possible. That's why I'm saying you have to be picky and it's better to be single than to be with somebody that is not good. But at the end of the day, sometimes a breakup, you cannot avoid it. But I think that people teach you a lesson when they enter your life. And it's very beautiful to take it that way, to be like, okay, but I did grow with that person. I maybe learn how to, how to be in a relationship, how to conduct myself in a better way, maybe how to compromise. You learn a lot about yourself and about other people. I think we're meant to constantly evolve and constantly learn and constantly level up. There is beauty and value in the people that are in your life and there's beauty and value in the people that are not in your life anymore. Maybe they teach you something about yourself that you didn't know. You know like the song that Ariana Grande had? She had like, thank you, next, about her exes. This is the vibe that we want. We want to be like, thank you. Thank you for teaching me some lessons. Thank you for the time that we spent together. We had a great time together, but then, next and if you feel like a person is not for you the faster you live the better it is also when you have for example as i said in the beginning a man ignoring you and a man not returning your calls 
it is actually a blessing. Take it as a blessing, ladies. That means that he is selecting himself. <laughs> he is just selecting himself. He's out of the competition. You know, you have to take it as like they're competing to have the prize. So men not returning your call, a man being distant, a man kind of being all of that is a good thing because then it's a redirection. Rejection is God's protection. You know, it was not your destiny to be with that person. Maybe that person was not ready. And a lot of people actually are not ready for a relationship. You have to be ready. It requires a lot of qualities and a lot of growth in yourself to be actually ready to be committed to somebody. So don't take it as all of that. And even all of the reasons that can be in your head shouldn't really matter. It should only be like, okay, this person was not meant for me. Like, thank you, next, next, thank you next next yeah like why would you try to convince somebody to like you if he doesn't like you that doesn't make any sense why don't you just let them go and celebrate the fact that they select themselves out of your life like they were probably not good enough for you darlings you have to understand something is that love is a two-way situation they have to love you and you have to love them it's supposed to be reciprocal so if this person is not interested in you it is not your person. It is not going to be your soulmate, I promise you. Have you been at a wedding? Have you ever heard somebody said that this woman harassed this man until he said that he finally wanted her? No, it's not as natural to have a woman chasing. Actually, men, to fall in love, they have to make efforts. When he is on the process of trying to convince you to be with him, that's when he falls in love, actually. You're depriving him of this experience. They love it. They love that time when they're trying to convince you and, you know, it's like a little, a little tension like that. I think the biggest thing to be really able to be detached is to stop the fantasy. Sometimes I think, and a lot of the time I think, you probably overestimate people in your head. And it's not the person that we love, but it's what they represent in our head. Sometimes you don't even want to be with that person, but you love something about them, maybe about their life, their lifestyle, certain characteristics that they have, how they are with their family. Like there's something about them that maybe you want for yourself. And it's not them that you like, but it's just, something a quality that you would want for yourself so we overestimate people sometimes and we have a fantasy in our head and we made up this fantasy you have to take up that fantasy of like okay i don't even know that man that well and also anything that he has and anything like who he is doesn't matter what matters is how he treats you also ladies get busy 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 the busier you are, the more you are detached. When you are bored, you have time to overthink and to obsess over this boy or to obsess over this and that. Like when you are busy, you don't have time for this. <laughs> so true. At the moment, I'm working on a lot of different things on a lot of different projects and I have no time to really be obsessive and overthink about certain people or certain situations. It just makes you feel so much better. You're really detached when you're focused on other things, have hobbies, have a passion that you really, really like and focus on it. Like really having hobbies really helps you detach from people because you're not just defined by who you hang out with and who are those people and who is this man. You're not just defined by him. It's really, really bad to be just defined by men. You are also defined by who you are, your values, your hobbies, a passion, something that really bring you joy and something that you really like, even if it's just watching a movie go watch a movie if you feel like you're obsessing over a man go watch a movie and focus on that movie go and have fun and exercise go doing some exercise go dancing or go out with your friend like try to think about something else really and do something else you're supposed to be a whole a whole person with your own life, your own hobbies, your own thing you do. And then the person that is going to be in your life is going to add value. You're supposed to be a whole and this man then add value to your life. Even though I think that men and women need each other and it's a beautiful thing and we need relationship and it's just, 
you know, it's a human thing. We crave for relationship, but it shouldn't be to the point of being desperate. And you have to be able also to have some detachment. Also, sometimes if you obsess over someone that is not made for you, you will miss on the opportunity to meet other people that are probably better for you. Maybe you're stuck on this man and he's not made for you, but you're obsessed over him because he doesn't respond to you or anything. But then you will have maybe to meet all of these other men. And then this man is your perfect man. It's your perfect match. But you will never meet him if you're still focused on him. That is not made for you. You have to be really able to be picky about the people in your life. Because that's your life. That's your entire life that you're going to build. People around you really define your happiness. So it's very important. Also, I think to be more detached, it's important to stop comparing yourself to other people on social media. Everybody has their own timeline. And it's not because you don't have a boyfriend or you don't have a husband or you don't have this or you're not rich yet or you're not, you don't have this and that, that your life is not amazing. Social media is just an enhancement of the life of people. It's just presented very, very well. And I promise you, I know because I do so social media. Be in the present, not trying to impress other people that don't even care at the end about you. Amazing loved ones around you, focusing on your family and on the people that you really love. Social media should make you happy and not feel bad about yourself. At the end of the day, you don't need anyone or anything to determine your value. The only person that needs to validate you is yourself. Thank you so much for watching my beautiful darlings. I hope you liked it and I hope it was helpful for you. I have other videos about how to be an unbothered queen. I will link it below. It's really a good video. I really recommend you watching it after this one because it's a subject that is really linked. It's about stop comparing yourself and not caring what people think. I have a lot of video about that. It's really a powerful thing to be able to be detached. Feel free to also follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok. Until next time, I'm giving you a lot of kisses and take care of you. Mwah.